We're gonna push this gun probably harder than it's intended to be pushed. I'll actually be surprised if it doesn't have problems throughout the day. Yeah. And if it doesn't, like that's, that's saying something about it. If we have a malfunction, then we're gonna film the malfunction and document the malfunction. My hands are killing me and the gun Super sluggish now. I can feel the slide as it's moving slower than it was before. Hey guys, this is Jeff with Tenacore. We are out here on the range today with the new Staccato CS. This is the updated 2024 version. We have 3,000 rounds of ammo. We have 1,000 rounds of Staccato range ammo, 1,000 rounds of Spear Lawman, and then 1,000 rounds of Magtech and we're gonna shoot all 3,000 rounds today. We're also working with a prototype Velo 5 and then a prototype ARCS for the Staccato. We're gonna be testing those out as well today and seeing how they work. Just for transparency, uh, the gun was provided to us by Staccato. So uh, we have a partnership with Staccato. We make holsters for them. We have a great relationship with them. They were able to get us a gun early. Um, they were able to get us other stuff early so we could make product that supports their gun. So just full transparency with that. Staccato ammo we paid for, the Lawman ammo we paid for, the Magtech ammo we paid for, all the mags we paid for. We're also shooting a Trijicon RMRCC. Um, we paid for that, and we paid for the plate, but we didn't play for the gun. As far as maintenance and lubrication, Staccato recommends lubing this thing every 500 rounds and then doing a cleaning at 1,000 rounds. So we're going to lube it up before we go, uh, and then we're going to shoot it until it doesn't work, and we'll see how long that takes. And then at that point, we may do a cleaning or do some more lube and kind of see how it goes. So let's see what this thing is made of. Out of the box, Staccato accuracy. I don't really know, I wouldn't say. I've not really tested it to any degree. I'm gonna stand and shoot off a tripod at 25 yards. There you go, first malfunction. So I believe there's a live round in there. So I believe it ejected it correctly, but it failed to go into battery. And it was staccato ammo. We'll try to finish that off. Okay. Bummer, eight rounds. You gotta break the gun in, right? Obviously our shots are off. Not a great group. On this thing, supposedly, this thing says one tick equals three MOA. All right, same target. Okay. I'm not hey. gonna make any adjustments because the group size would be larger than any of the adjustments. So either I suck or the ammo sucks or both. I guess we need to start shooting, don't we? We only have 2,980 rounds to go. Uh, it feels pretty good. So let's go back here to 25. Let's see, where was that 50 yard line? We are probably about 75 yards right now. The part of the challenge is that I haven't been shooting that much because it's been cold in winter. So I guess I need to figure out how to do that again. Oh, that was terrible. I feel like I'm losing the dot. And I also don't know when the slide locks the rear, which is really weird. Reach up. Should 
Should I do like real Instagram stuff? See, I guess I would take that whole thing, right? At like five yards. Eight, eight. Whoo, man, it's amazing. 97. It's kind of slow though. I think I need to, I think I need to prep. 94. There, there you go, Instagram. Sub, Jeff Mao can actually do a sub one second draw in his target every time. But it's like everybody else on the internet that does it. It's at five yards, it doesn't mean anything. 153. 152. So I will take an honest 150 concealment draw at 25 yards all day long. Over a 0.88. Nonsense. Well, we haven't had a malfunction again yet, except for that first string, so that's good, right? That's pretty fun, actually. That would be my thought right now, is that it actually shoots really pretty flat. Oh. Slide didn't lock back? Yep, slide didn't lock back. Yeah, I really don't feel the slide lock into the rear at all. Super weird. I mean, there I felt it a little bit. It's just very subtle. I'm just gonna shoot some B8s for a while and try to shoot some accuracy stuff. Just see how that is working with it. So look at that, so that's 10 yards. I don't know, I feel like that's not that great. And maybe, maybe I'm sighted in high, but it wasn't a 20, ah, that's weird. Huh, so that's 15 yards, a little bit bigger group. How do you think we'd do at three yards? What do you think? Oh, it's low. Same hole. Same hole. Same hole. Look at that. 10 rounds right there. Take that, Instagram. Look at that. Staccato CS. 10 rounds. Is that at 50 yards? No, that was, it's the same place that I was getting a .88 first draw shot. Right there, look at that accuracy. Same distance. It's amazing. Go to jeffmaushoots.com. <laughs> we are approaching 500 rounds. We got, so just the stack, so 70 rounds away from 500. Whew. Also known as 430, but however you want to put it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, if you want to be direct like that. Five hundred. Five hundred rounds. Two malfunctions. One failure to feed. One failure to slide lock. Like the combo of the ammo and everything seems to be pretty soft shooting gun. It's obviously hot. Starting to get a little raw right there. Might have to take the file. File that bad boy down a little bit. The fun shooting gun. It seems to be pretty accurate, but we haven't test a different ammo, so we gotta play with that a little bit. Which I feel like I really kinda wanna do right now. So I have 10 rounds of Magtech right here, 10 rounds of Spear Lawman, and 10 rounds of the Staccato stuff. Okay, so we'll go Magtech first. Lawman. Staccato is the snappiest of them. Um, I missed the reload on the other two also. So let's look at Lawman Ejection.
there, 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 there. Not bad, but it wasn't that consistent actually. At least I didn't think it was that consistent. So this is the MagTech. So ejection without a mag. So way more like basically 90 degrees. That one was further back. Whoa. Was that off the optic maybe? Okay, so here I got everything from forward. Most of it was forward and side ejection and I had one that was coming out over the back. And the gun, if you wanna look at it, I mean, it's hot for sure. And it's starting to get pretty dirty. At this point, if we have another malfunction, we're past the point where Staccato would say to put relube the gun. So it'd be reasonable at this point to have a problem. So MagTech, mag in the gun. So this is MagTech ammo. So a failure to feed off of a load. I'd not do anything noticeably different, but a failure to feed nonetheless. Looking for ejection pattern. So high into the rear, high into the rear, high into the rear. So way more consistent with the mag in of high into the rear. I had one that petered out 90 degrees. This is Lawman. We'll do it with the mag in. Going further, less of a dribble out, mostly slightly back and a little over the top. So we'll go staccato, no mag. Pretty high, mostly to the side. So pretty high, mostly out 90, a little bit back. Staccato, range ammo, mag in. So now I am really starting to feel it on both sides. So we are at 20 yards. We're going to shoot a B8 off supported standing and we're going to shoot 10 rounds of staccato, 10 rounds of spear lawman and 10 rounds of magic tech for accuracy. Lawman, 124 grain. MagTech, also 124 grain. So we have Staccato, Spear Lawman, and MagTech. Staccato ammo is probably the best group. All of it is obviously off. So let's adjust that and see what happens. So we will go staccato first. Spear lawman. And then magtech. This is a staccato. This is Spear Lawman 124 and then MagTech. The Lawman and Staccato are pretty similar in group, which is good. Lawman's good ammo, so the Staccato is shown to be good ammo. I probably changed the thing a little bit too much because this object does not have audible or tactile clicks on it. So that's kind of crazy. And it is chewing up my hand, right? You can see how you can see how red the web of my hand is from shooting the probably 600 some rounds thus far. So we are going to ghetto gunsmith this thing, and I'm gonna use a round file, tape the grip safety down. So that's the actual, what it would be like when I'm shooting. So I'm just trying to file off. There's a machined edge where it is rounded, but it kind of comes, it meets another edge and it just needs to be a little more rounded. Feels a little better. The other thing I probably should do. So there's the seam right here. So I'm trying to sand this down. 
get rid of that seam. Oh, that's so much better. Someone needs to shoot this thing other than me at some point here. You wanna shoot this thing, Devin? It's very subtle. Tell you what, you turn around. Hi, Mom. I'm in a Tentacore video. <laughs> and then here's your reload. I think I felt it. Here, try that one more time. I'm not feeling it, but I'm seeing it. Okay. It's weird though. It is soft though. We are approaching 900. Glove, because my hands hurt. This is all for the internet. I feel like I should come up with something that I like about it. Like I'm, I'm just negative Nelly. Cause I don't like the fact that my hand is all torn up. I don't like the fact that it's raining. I don't like the fact that when the slide locks to the rear, it is not an obvious locking to the rear. So I guess I do like the soft recoil impulse when I'm shooting, but I don't like the fact that I don't know my slide is locking to the rear every time. I don't like the fact that it's so hot right now as well. Staccato snow test. Oh, the snow test. It's melting the snow. It is not hot anymore. I do like the fact that it's small and compact. I do like the trigger on it. But most importantly, I like how reliable it is. Because that is what I want in a gun that I carry. At this point, I would say this is not fundamentally different from a reliability standpoint than any other like modern striker fire gun, which is pretty impressive for a 1911, 2011 pattern gun. Per the specs, we're supposed to, we were supposed to lube it 400 rounds ago and we haven't lubed it at all. So we are, oh, it's overachieving right now. The RMRCC in general, I like. The smaller window is noticeable. I do feel like I lose my dot a little bit more. I really don't like the clicks though. I really don't like the fact that there's no audible or tactile clicks on it. But otherwise, I mean, it seems, I mean, it's raining and we've shot a lot and it seems to be holding up. I'm, I'm curious to see if we come back and do accuracy tests again later on, do we have some sort of shift? Because I feel like there was a shift. Oftentimes things are not as you think they are when you shoot, so we'll see. All right, we should get back to shooting. Thousand rounds. We are only a third of the way there, gentlemen. So these are our last four mags of staccato ammo. Um, we already hit a thousand, but we did that ammo comparison. So this is the last bit of, of staccato. So that was a failure to lock back. There's an empty mag and an empty chamber and the slide did not lock to the rear. Bummer.
Oh yeah, it's sizzling. You can hear it. You wanna listen? Can you think it'll pick it up in the mic? Yeah. Oh, mag one, mag one failure to lock. So it's definitely getting sluggish. I can feel on the reloads, it's starting to stall out going forward. Around 1800 rounds without lube, without cleaning. Keep going for a little bit. If it starts getting too sluggish, I might just stop and lube it up. Oh, I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. My hands and my wrists. Super impressed at this point with how well the gun's running. It's running way better than I thought it would. Man, my shoulders are killing me. You want a Zin? <laughs> no, I don't want a Zin. It helps everything. You can smell colors with Zin. Should we start getting crazy and start throwing this thing into that stuff? What do you think? Uh, not, I don't know. I think that would kind of change it. Test. That'd be a different huh? video. Huh? That'd be a different that's video. A different test. Uh, they're no fun. The Internet, test. they're no fun. Should at least do this kind of thing, right? I mean, it's perfectly fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> went off the rails. Two thousand rounds. Um, failure to feed on the eighth round. Three failure to lock opens on two. The two mags are the same, and then a third a failure to feed on a reload. So that is where we're at, and we're at two thousand rounds. So overall, I am very impressed with the reliability of this gun. I don't know if there's any lube on there at all. So we're at single lube prior to shooting, and then we have not lubed it in two thousand rounds. Every five hundred rounds, you're supposed to lube it, and then you're supposed to do a full cleaning at a thousand rounds. I mean, it just keeps going bang. So that was the last of the Spear Lawman, so we shot um, a thousand rounds of the staccato range ammo. We shot a thousand rounds of the Spear Lawman. And so we have about 900 rounds left of our Magtech. And so we've shot um, 2,100 rounds right now.
snow is going away. Oh, let's cool this bad boy off. One seven one eight. One eight one nine. So we are at probably 2,200 rounds-ish, something like that without cleaning, without lubrication. And we have, my guess is it's a failure to feed. So we'll remove the magazine and then let's open this bad boy up. And yep, it's a live round. So there's a failure to feed, okay? So not a surprise because no one should do what we're doing to their gun of shooting 2,200 rounds in a few hours without doing any lube on your gun. My hands are killing me and the gun is super sluggish now. I can feel the slide is moving slower than it was before because build up, of build up of gunk and no lube. So I think we lube it. We're lubing at 2,300 rounds. Yep, let me cool it off first. Feels much better. I'm gonna go back a distance. Uh, we're at about 100 yards. Second shot. It's really loud, isn't it? I'm sure it bothers all my neighbors. I'm sure they all hate me a ton. Dev, one bite review. Forget the staccato. <laughs> like, you buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shooting the staccato right now? Um, Casey Ryback. I used to be a cook on a ship a long time ago. <laughs> CS is the most buttery, smooth slide. Yeah, did you give your commentary? That was it. Is it buttery smooth? It's but the buttery smooth slide. I love it. Danny, people are calling you the squire. The squire? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're the only one calling me that, Mike. What do you think of the job? My hands are turning green. Jeff, would you like to critique my mediocre shooting stance? No. No? <laughs> you should just go shoot and have fun. You're gonna get critiqued. Feel the fingers on my palm. You know how you get that after a while? Oh. See, the gun is doing well. I am not. Do this thing, push to the end. Yeah. 
We fill the feed on a reload. Yeah, so we're right around 20, probably about 2650 or so. We lubed about 300 rounds ago, uh, and so we have that. And that fixes it. We are down to our last eight or so mags. Failure to lock open. Last mag. Boom, 3,000 rounds. My experience with 2011s in the past is just, the thing that I didn't like about them is that they were not reliable enough. And so I'm pretty impressed with this. I mean, it is close to Glock reliability. I would say the biggest and most surprising malfunction was the one in the beginning, the eighth round shot. Other than that, super impressed with the reliability of this gun. Frankly, probably a little surprised that it did as well as it did. Um, and not gonna pretend that it didn't have any malfunctions. I think the size to shootability is pretty good. Like a gun this small usually is not as shootable as this. You know, the most I shot in a day before was probably a thousand rounds. And I would say my hands hurt a lot and my shoulders hurt a lot. So it was less fun than we thought it would be, but hopefully it showed that the Staccato is a good reliable handgun and worthy of your life. Yeah, super nice gun. I know you don't want to shoot anymore, but what if? You just crush it in some mud and be like, let's just see if it works. Uh, we could do that. Yep. Okay. Let's come back next week. Okay, it's next week. So after filming, this gun was super dirty because I just threw it in the mud. Um, we were lazy and we waited about a week to clean it, but it was completely disassembled and it was cleaned. And what we discovered is that actually part of the optic plate was broken. And so that explains some of the point of impact shift during the shooting and some of the poor accuracy that was particularly evident at distance. Looking at the screws, the screws in the optic itself, because of the witness mark, we knew they didn't back out. But then after removing the optic, the screws and the plate underneath, the witness mark had changed. And so those screws had backed out, which allowed the plate itself to shift. And what actually happened was at the post that is on the bottom of the plate, one of them broke off. So there was enough movement that with all the shooting, the plate was shifting around enough that it actually snapped the post off of the plate. Back when we installed it, we used Vibratite. And during the installation, we had a little conversation about how long should we wait. So normally you should wait 45 minutes or so for the Vibratite to cure um, before you thread it in there to ensure you get the best results. And we waited about 15 minutes. And we actually had the conversation, hey, should we wait or should we shortcut it and get it done? We decided to shortcut it and get it done. And so we believe the reason the screws backed out and the reason the plate broke is our fault. And so just a pointer for the end user is the Vibratite works great, but make sure you let it cure. 
Um, I had a quick conversation with my friend Mark Smith at JBS Training, and he pointed out the fact that, and this is something that we knew, blue Loctite 242 does not work great in this, um, for this purpose. Um, and he pointed out the fact that he uses purple Loctite 222, um, and the reason is, is because blue Loctite is actually designed for screws that are quarter inch and larger. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. We are not trying to shill for staccato. We actually like this gun. We think it works well. Staccato might even be upset with the negativity of Jeff Maunis in the video, but that's okay, because that's who we are. These guns, we have holsters for them. Like we talked about, the frame is wider. They require a specific holster with, for a wider frame. We have some available currently right now, the Care Tune 3 and the Sage Axe Lux for the 2024 updated CS. So you can find that out at tenacore.com. If you're planning to buy one of those holsters or you've already purchased a holster for your staccato, check out this awesome video here.